My name is Natalie and I am from St. Joseph's International School and I'm a teacher at that school. Now, I teach the subject physics and physics just so happened to be one of my favorite subjects when I was a student myself. And sometimes people ask me, what is physics and why do I love it so much? Yeah, so physics to me, physics is how you apply mathematics to explain the laws of nature and how, why do I like physics? It's because uh, physics allow me to understand the laws of nature and how the universe works and ultimately and most importantly physics reminds me of how great and awesome the creation of God is in all of this universe okay so when I talk about teaching my most favorite topic one of my most favorite topic to teach in physics is the topic of light yeah and the reason why this is my favorite topic one of my favorite topic is because it reminds me of Jesus the light of the world I remember in one experiment that I conducted with my student uh, it's, it's in the topic of light so we are supposed to we are learning about the images that is formed by lenses okay lenses and in this experiment the object of the experiment is an illuminating object so in this particular experiment we use a candle to prepare for this experiment we had to block out all the light source in the physics lab which means we had to draw the curtains on the window and any other glass uh, glass uh, wall or any way the light can come in light from outside can come in we have to block it off with black manila card so before we started the experiment I told one of my students I told one of my students uh, okay let's start the experiment uh, you need to switch off the light first okay so we are all ready for this experiment and this one student switched off the light in the lab and suddenly we found ourselves in a dark room. The physics lab was totally dark. So in the dark, uh, in the dark physics lab, everyone was excited to start the experiment. And I started with lighting up one small candle, a candle that we use as the light source for our illuminating object for the experiment. As soon as I lighted up that one small candle, um, the physics lab which started out as very dark, it ended up being illuminated by the light from that one single candle. And as we conducted the experiment, uh, as my students observed the images formed by the lens, I kept thinking and I kept being reminded of how uh, Jesus also calls us to be the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world and yes, he did remind us in the Gospel of Matthew that we are also the light of the world. In the parable of the lamb and the bushel, he did remind us that no one lights a lamb and put it under a bushel. Instead, they put it on some way high so that that lamb can be the source of light for all in the house, right? So this particular experiment really, really reminded me of that parable. It, it reminds me that I also can be the small candle, the small candle that we use in the experiment. Like when the candle was lighted, it illuminated the whole physics lab. I can be that candle. When I am lighted, I can be, I can illuminate. Uh, any dark corners perhaps uh, in a sense that um, let's look at the context of the situation that we are living in current in this, in this year and since last year uh, I think you all can agree with me that since last year until this current year it has been a very challenging and very very um, very unusual time that we live in isn't it because um, I know a lot of friends and families and just people that uh, are around me who are especially challenged and especially 
um, facing so much difficulty due to the pandemic, right? So ever more so, this experiment and, and this parable about the light in the bushel, this experiment with the small candle, it really reminds me that ever more so now, I need to be a brighter candle. I need to be a brighter lamp to shine in the lives of brothers and sisters, friends and families and everyone around me who is feeling the challenge uh, of the pandemic in their lives. So Jesus being the light of the world reminds me that a single light source is all it takes to illuminate a dark space. And I can be that light source that illuminates in the dark space that represents the challenges and the hardship that people around me are facing. It is truly, this topic and this experiment truly reminds me of that, that reminder from Jesus, our light of the world. And you know, there's another thing that, that uh, the topic of light reminds me with regards to what Jesus calls me to be in this world. Yeah, in this world that we are facing right now with so many challenges and uncertainties. And that is, there's this one topic that I taught my students. Uh, it's still in the topic of light, okay? And it's about how we learn, when we learn light, when we learn about light, we, we learn it as white light, a source of white light. Yeah? But when this white light passes through a prism, a glass prism, this white light is actually dispersed. Uh, it's dispersed into seven colors that you would probably uh, know as the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, it's the colors of the rainbow. And I did, I did actually conduct this experiment with my students. And it's the same thing, we had to prepare our experiment and we had to make sure that the physics lab was dark because uh, we need the experiment to be as successful as possible. Successful means we can clearly see the light being dispersed. So when we were conducting the experiment and the white light was passing through, we shone, we shone the white light to pass through a glass prism. Um, I held a white, clear white paper in front of the dispersion so that the students can see the dispersed lights on the white paper and they can see they can clearly see the colors of the rainbow and that is in, in that experiment the students really guessed they, they were very at all when they see what happened they went oh wow it's the rainbow we can see the rainbow we just made a rainbow they say that and, and as I marvel at their fascination I also in my heart also I marvel at you know uh, at a sudden realization that I too can be a glass prism. I too can be a glass prism. The white light that comes from Jesus, the light of the world, when it shines through me, I can be a glass prism to disperse that light to seven different colors of light. And for me, this is a very important realization as I think that, as I think about the fact that the seven colors that the white light dispersed into it can be the colors that represents love, that represents hope, that represents uh, empathy, care, warmth, joy and happiness. Yeah? It represents all of these good things, uh, all of these uh, wonderful things that, that can clearly bring a smile to the faces of people that we see. So, Jesus, the light of the world, when I think of him in this context, it also reminds me of that experiment with the white light and the glass prism. So in that way, I think about the fact that Jesus calls us all to be the light of the world so that we can illuminate for those out there, our friends and families, even people that we do not know, strangers, our neighbours, you know. We can be the light to them to illuminate the dark areas in their life and we can be the glass prism that disperse the white light that comes from Jesus into seven different colors of love, 
hope, care, warmth, empathy, joy, and happiness. Yes. So all of this, this is what I am reminded of every time I think about the topic of light. And that is why the topic of light is one of my most favorite topic to teach in physics as well as one of my most favorite topics to marvel about and think about in physics for myself. So, brothers and sisters out there, in the situation that we're living, not, not just in the situation that we're living in right now, but every day of our lives, let us continue to take up the call of Jesus. Jesus is a reminder for us to be the light uh, to our brothers and sisters, to our friends and families, to our neighbors. Let us always be reminded that we are we are the lamp. And <laughs> when we light ourselves up, we cannot hide ourselves at home. We cannot hide ourselves in our bedroom under the bushel. Instead we have to go out and shine. And shine. And instead of and, and also besides being the light of the world, let us remind ourselves that we are glass prisms, yes, with the white light coming from Jesus. We can be the glass prism that disperse into seven colors of light. Yeah, that represents love, joy, empathy, care, warmth, happiness, and just all the good things that will bring a smile to the faces of the people that we meet. And you know what they say about a smile, right? A smile brightens up the room. Again, we are the light of the world. Even through our smile. Alright? So, that is from me. I'm Natalie from St. Joseph's International School. Serving you laksa for the G-World.